Today I'm going to make a modular entertainment center out of bamboo plywood. I'm using a French cleat style system so that all the components can hang on the wall and be configurated in an infinite number of ways. I'm working with a new material. This is 3 quarter inch thick bamboo plywood from Cali Bamboo. It's a really high quality material, super flat and straight, very little warpage, and there's just three layers. So it's really easy to work the edge pattern into a design. I ordered full four foot by eight foot sheets online and was very pleased to see that they came in great condition and were individually wrapped. The vast majority of this project is gonna be fabricated using my new saw stop table saw, but these sheets are quite heavy, so I just broke them down using a straight edge and a circular saw to make them a little more manageable. That's right, I got a saw stop. Not only has this table saw revolutionized the woodworking industry in terms of safety, it's incredibly precise and easy to use. I started by ripping down the French cleat rail, so I just set the blade to 45 degrees, ripped a few pieces, and then set it back and started cutting the pieces that I'm going to use to make the various modules. The bamboo is really hard and dry, and it machines similarly to red oak. I didn't want the bamboo to split, so I'm using a brand new 10 inch diameter 80 tooth fine cutting Diablo blade. The edges of the 45 degree cuts were so sharp you could actually cut yourself with them. So I set the blade back to 90 and just took a little bit off the edge. I'm using the contractor saw and I got it with the cross cut sled so I can do both my rip cuts and my cross cuts. I haven't built a full sled yet so that I can make dramatic angled cuts, so I just did the few that I needed for the supports under the record player with my circular saw. After making these long cuts, I then trimmed the ends to 45 degrees and then cut both pieces to length. The bamboo plywood comes pretty well finished and doesn't need much sanding, so I just gave everything a once over with 220 grit sanding pads. I was working through the design as I was making it, so I want to get the rails up and installed on the walls so that I could get a better idea of how I wanted to make the modules. I used a stud finder to find the location of the structural members behind the drywall and then used those marks to show me where I needed to drill holes through the rails. I'm going to use Simple Finish by Maker Brand. It's a plant-based wood finish that really brings out the color of the wood while it preserves and protects it. I made sure to remove all of the dust with a clean rag, applied a heavy coat, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then rubbed out the excess with another clean rag. The rails are five and a half inches wide and I installed them so that the bottom is five feet off the ground. I thought about doing a concealed fastener system but I want to be able to remove this, so I just used some two inch long finish screws. I next turned my attention to the rack that's going to hold the record player. I sanded the pieces to 220 grit and pre-drilled holes for the finish screws. What I love about the bamboo is that the edge grain is so cool, I kind of can get away with real simple joinery, just basically gluing and screwing pieces together. And I think that the novelty of the material more than makes up for the simplicity. I tried to be careful with the glue, but I put a little bit too much on and had a little squeeze out, so I made sure to clean that up before it dried. For the angle supports, I'm going to start with just glue, and then once that's cured, I'll drive in a couple screws. I cut the base plate on the table saw, and then mark the locations of the straps that are gonna hold it to the rail. I'm gonna use my jigsaw just to cut along these pencil lines so that this plate goes all the way to the wall and around those vertical straps. I used to be afraid of keeping cuts like this straight, but I learned just to go real slow and just keep your eye on the line. And if you just go an eighth of an inch at a time, it's pretty easy to stay right on that pencil line. A quick once over with the orbital sander got rid of any splinters from the cutting. I applied a little bit of glue and just used a couple screws in places where they were barely visible. 
I love album art, so I want to make the vinyl record holder also a way to display the front covers. So I followed a similar process, but this time I just used one wide vertical strap and the individual shelves, once again, I just cut out a piece with my jigsaw so it would go around this vertical support. I screwed a strip onto the back that would give me a place to fasten this shelf to the vertical support and also just glued a little tiny strip on the front of the shelf just to keep the records from slipping off. I glued an angle piece of the cleat to the back of the vertical support and we'll add in a couple screws once this dries. I love how simple this system is because it's so quick and easy to make additional shelving and storage devices. This little shelf is gonna hold a Bluetooth speaker and literally took me less than 10 minutes to make. Seriously, this is the most basic level of woodworking, but the results came out so great. I gave the modules one more light sanding once they were assembled, and then wiped off the dust and got them ready for some more simple finish. I made the rails, the shelves, and the cabinets all using less than a single sheet of this bamboo plywood. I came up with a slightly different way to mount this cabinet, and I'll show you how I did it right after a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Hoover. They make really awesome vacuum cleaners. I got the Hoover Blade Cordless Plus vacuum and it only took me a couple minutes to set it up right out of the box. One of the reasons why I was excited to design this French cleat system is that it moves furniture off the ground which makes it much easier to clean and vacuum. We have a pretty busy household and quite a few pets are coming through so having a portable and most importantly powerful vacuum helps us keep the place nice and tidy. I even made a special adapter so that I can hang this vacuum right on this French cleat system. The desert is dusty and our floors get pretty dirty with all the projects and look at how easily it scoops all this up. It also has a rotating brush that you can turn on with a button and that helps really get rid of the stubborn pieces of dirt and debris that are just semi stuck to the floor. Look at that, boom, brush activated. Look at how much sawdust it picks up on a single pass. And I was thrilled, absolutely thrilled to see that I don't have to remember to get vacuum bags. It just has a canister that pops right out. You can dump it in the trash. The filter easily comes out and you can just rinse it off and wash it in the sink. I can't emphasize enough how much I enjoy devices like this that don't have specialty consumables that have to be ordered in advance. I just got to plug it in to charge it and then pick it up whenever I got to mess the cleanup. I highly recommend this vacuum cleaner and click on the link in the description box below to get your own. All right, back to the build. For the record storage, I just had to slide the shelves onto the vertical support, use the speed square to make sure everything was at right angles, and add a couple screws from the back. Now I like to knock back a couple whiskeys when I'm listening to vinyl, so I made this shelf and this is where I went a little bit differently on the hanging system. I took a short cutoff from the rails and used that to trace an outline on the sides of this cabinet. I then just carefully followed this line with my jigsaw and gave a little bit of extra room down below for clearance. I traced the outline of the first piece onto the second and then cut that out as well. Now that I have the two side pieces cut, all I have to do is mark the location of the screws and add in the shelves. Originally I thought about covering the heads of the finished screws with wood putty or even cutting some little plugs to cover them up, but the heads of these screws are brass-like in appearance and they don't look bad and they blend in almost perfectly with the color of this bamboo with the simple finish on it. When I'm making shelves like this, I like to cut a short scrap piece of plywood to use as a guide to make sure everything's nice and level. Although, because this material is so square and has such minimal warpage, this was really easy. Boom, look at that. Perfect little liquor shelf. Not too much so that you're overwhelmed with choice, just the good stuff. The record player needs power, so, so I drilled a hole through a small piece of the plywood and then cut a path to it 
so I can create a little hanging shelf that's perfect for my really nice looking Conway Electric extension cords. I love how versatile the system is. You just install the rails and you have pretty much endless configurations of the different modules. All of the main components were produced using my saw stop table saw and a few of my Ryobi handheld tools. But I just got a new X-Carve Pro from Inventables and I thought it'd be fun to give it a shot trying to make one of the modules using a CNC. I cut the assembly slots at exactly three quarters of an inch and because this material is so precise, it actually works without creating a little bit of extra space. I did have to use a clamp and a mallet though to get it all together, but I don't need any glue. It all holds together nice and tight. This module is designed to hold a eight inch terracotta flower pot, but I don't want it dripping on the furniture below. So I just use some duct tape and silicone to seal up the bottom. And then I line this terracotta pot with some gravel and then put a smaller plastic potted plant inside of it. That way I have drainage without drippage. It's surprisingly strong, and even though my walls aren't perfectly flat, there's no wiggle and everything's leaning up against the wall nice and solid. This carbonized bamboo with the simple finish has a really nice medium brown caramel color to it, and the end grain is a nice novel aesthetic twist. In fact, I liked it so much I called up Cali Bamboo and ordered a couple more sheets, which I used for this. A bamboo sofa. Now, originally I thought that this French cleat system would go on an empty wall and just serve as a modular entertainment system. But because I installed it five feet off the ground, there's plenty of height to put a sofa underneath it. Now, obviously I wouldn't put the record player right over the sofa because you might hit your head getting up, but there's plenty of room where I could put more storage for albums that could double as wall art. I could also hang a large piece of art or a mirror or even do some bookshelves so you can just grab a book, get a drink, do some reading. But what I wanna know is what would you do? I'm really interested in what additional components you think would be great for this system. Recently I've been experimenting with Varathane Super Glaze and pouring it over mirrors. So I just took one of these mirrors and used a two-part epoxy to glue a cleat onto the back and boom, add another component to the system. I'm currently in the process of designing a hotel out here in Joshua Tree and this is a prototype for a system that's gonna go into those rooms. Making things versatile and easy to clean is great at home, but those advantages are really magnified when you're thinking about them spread out over a hotel where housekeeping has to be done on pretty much a daily basis. I really like that I could add to this system over time. So if I get additional records, I could just make another one of the storage modules for them. If I get some new artwork, just slap a cleat on the back and hang it right on the rail. I do think the system could be improved and evolved by integrating some sort of cord management along the backside of the rail itself. So if you got any ideas for that, hit me up in the description box below. My U-Turn record player did not come Bluetooth enabled out of the box, so I just got an adapter for about $19, and that pairs nicely with my audio engine Bluetooth speakers. But if I wanted a more substantial sound system, I gotta figure out that cord management. Oh, and one more thing before you go. We have a new Instagram channel. I'll put a link to that in the description along with our TikTok. I know, kind of old for TikTok, but what can you do? You gotta stay up with the times. We also rebranded our second channel from Homemade Modern 2 and now just called it Trickle Up Design. And we'll be using that channel to show more behind the scenes about how I draw, how I use different software, and just to talk about design and where I get my inspiration. So subscribe to this channel, subscribe to that channel, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye everybody.